when co-CEOs James Gunn and Peter Safran outlined their vision of the new chapter of DC movies, they revealed several shocking titles, among which was Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. This project took many DC followers by surprise, but Supergirl is finally flying back to cinemas. So join us as we explore everything about this upcoming film. Potential release date Supergirl was revealed to be part of the upcoming DCEU slate, which already has 10 projects confirmed, with more on its way. When Gunn made the announcement and revealed the titles of the following chapter, Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow was among the ones that made fans excited. Out of all the projects that were confirmed, only it has received a concrete release date, and that is Superman Legacy. This movie is said to kick off the rebooted universe with its release pinned down for June 2025. Since Superman Legacy is the first movie to begin the chapter, followed by The Authority and The Brave and the Bold, it's safe to say that Supergirl won't be releasing the same year as Superman. To allow enough time for the three movies to thrive at the box office, our best guess is that Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow will arrive in cinemas in late 2026, at the very earliest. Gunn has already confirmed that the project is currently in development at DC Studios, but when asked about the release date, he was quick to say that he doesn't want the project to be rushed. He further explained that the screenplay is only two-thirds of the way done and he wants to give it enough time to be completed before they move on to production. Safran also said that he and Gunn wait to have a script before putting a new movie in production to make sure that the script is just right before the filming happens. However, given that the script is almost finished, we could expect to see this movie in a production quite soon, but it won't be released before Superman Legacy can hit the big screen. Who will be in it? One of the major things that got fans confused about this movie was the cast. Many have wondered who will play Supergirl, given that a version of this chapter is debuting in the upcoming Flash movie. So since we'll be seeing a new actress playing Supergirl this summer, many wondered if she'll be back for this movie as well. To clarify things, Sasha Cal is cast in the blockbuster as Kara Zor-El, alongside Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck as both versions of Batman. Gunn still hasn't confirmed if Cal will reprise her role in the upcoming film, but then again, he could be waiting to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, he could be waiting to see the outcome of The Flash to make that decision. So right now, we still don't know who will play Supergirl. In the past few months, DC has changed the actors of quite a few iconic characters, with the utmost shocking one being removing Henry Cavill as Superman with a brand new actor for the upcoming Superman Legacy. The same goes for Batman, as he will be played by a new actor in the upcoming movie The Brave and the Bold. So it wouldn't come to us as a surprise if a new Supergirl will be introduced as well. Although we don't know the cast of this movie, we also don't know much about who will be the director. But one thing was revealed, and that was that Tom King will play a huge role in the development of the story. King is the author behind the Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow comic book series, and this film will be based on those stories, the last big screen adaptation. Over the years, we've already seen multiple actresses portray Supergirl, but the last time we saw her on the big screen was in 1984, when Helen Slater took on the role of Kara Zor-El. This was Slater's first film, and the overall film brought only $14.3 million, making it a clear box office disaster. Maybe that's the reason why we haven't seen another standalone Supergirl movie. This character has been a major part of Kryptonian mythology for decades, making her debut in 1959 and having been adapted into live action on several occasions. The most recent and the most successful time this character has been adapted into live action was when Melissa Buenois was cast as Supergirl across six seasons of Arrowverse drama titled Supergirl. The show was a hit, and in it, she ended up going against several legendary villains, including Lex Luthor. Benoist Kara was sent to Earth following in her cousin's footsteps as she found her way in the world. Although the series was a hit, it was concluded after six seasons, but The Flash also promises to introduce a big screen version of the hero. The many portrayals of Supergirl over the years have made us wonder what will be so different about this version, but according to Gunn, this film will show a much darker and more messed up version of Supergirl, and it will not be the Supergirl we're used to. What will happen? 
Since this movie will be based on Tom King's Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow comic book series, it will follow the same story, in which it takes Supergirl to places not seen before. Gunn has described that it is his favorite comic book series from 2021, and that he can't wait to turn it into a big science fiction epic film. He further explained that Superman was sent to Earth and raised by loving parents, while his cousin Supergirl was raised on a chunk of Krypton, as she smashed that subscribe button and rang that notification bell. But no, in all seriousness, she watched everyone around her perish in terrible ways. She explains that she is a much jaded character and that it will be a new way of seeing Supergirl. This movie is set to focus entirely on Kara Zor-El, who, after spending years in isolation, is contacted by a lone alien girl who recruits her for a revenge mission. Together they travel the universe in an attempt to track down the evil doers who cause the tragedy, which proves to be a powerful journey that shakes both to their core. The majority of this film will show the difference between Superman and Supergirl, and how their surroundings have affected their lives. Given that Superman Legacy is set to premiere before this film, it wouldn't be a shock to see Superman appear at some point in this film, since it has been said that all of the newly introduced characters will further get involved in each other's stories, creating a deeper bond. So this could only be the beginning of an incredible DC universe, unlike anything we've seen before. The future of Supergirl. Even though it's not clear who will play Supergirl and what kind of a role will the Flash movie play in all of this, it's clear that after Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, we'll likely see more of this character in the future. Gunn and Saffron are already planning the future of the DCU, and since they've already shared 10 projects set to come in the next 6-8 to eight years, it's clear that they plan on revisiting this character in the future. Also, this film is one of the major ones in the new Gods and Monsters chapter of the DCU, so we believe that a new actress would be introduced as Supergirl, since they do plan on replacing Superman and Batman with other, possibly much younger actors. Many have speculated that this character could be brought to life by Melissa Benoit, since she has already been part of the DC as Supergirl, but this is still just a speculation. The future of Supergirl may appear hazy right now. But if everything goes according to plan, and as Gunn and Saffron have imagined it, then we strongly believe that in the future, we would be able to see more of Supergirl, possibly in a sequel, or a reboot with Superman by her side. Since they are cousins and have the same weaknesses, it would be fair to pair them together in at least one film. It's hard to say what the DCU plans for the future, but we wouldn't be surprised that they've already planned the next 20 years of the DCU with numerous projects and ideas that are yet to be revealed. As Gunn said, his latest announcement only included 10 projects, which are not the entirety of the Gods and Monsters chapter. So, fingers crossed that this time around Supergirl will finally receive justice in a complete franchise where she's more than just a sidekick. Check out these videos next.